All right, so let's get down to business. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff oh, towards crap. the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. Must have been hard for you. worry about it. And they say there's... Why is it it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's... You could... That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Look at that. Already? It popped up. But managed to confirm it. The museum. I have to wait. And time is running out. I'll make the trip. It's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Please tell me I do not... Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Kana. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. Woo. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! So the downfall is, I really do not want to do another mission. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to do. It looks like we're going to have, like, 50% worth of objectives just to do. Ooh, I don't. I don't have to. Then we're not going to. Awesome. We're going to do Frontiers missions. Because I need to get the same job. And we've already started this episode. If we didn't have started this episode already, I would go ahead and do what I really need to do, which is I gotta play back three missions. Because I was dumb because my audio was not. My microphone wasn't plugged in. There's four missions. And you've already been here. Well, at this point, you realize what one of them is, which is the mission with the, the ship that I failed to hide. Which I'm gonna probably re edit just to get rid of all the fails. Alright, so the Frontiersman should be fine. Well, my friend is.
The haunted like I'd been out in the pucker brush for six weeks. Game was scarce in the area, and my belly needed filling, so I broke for the coast and some crab or lobster from the tide pools. That's when I saw it. A lighthouse said to have been abandoned years ago, but there it was, fires a burning. Then the sound happened. A moaning in the wind. My heart crept up my throat so high I could taste it. Just then, a ten-point buck startled, and I took after it. Got the buck, but never went back to that lighthouse. Spirits in there, I wager, and I'd challenge any man to set foot inside. All right, so find the ghost near the lighthouse. Shouldn't be too bad. Where's the lighthouse? All the way over here. All right, see you all in a minute. All right, so I want to figure this out. Find the ghost near the lighthouse. Shouldn't be that bad. I wonder what that red dot is. Crying in the wind. I heard it. My wife's heard it. It's there. No mistaking it. Interact with clues to find it? Well, let's go to the top of the lighthouse. Let's start with that. There's a clue on the lighthouse. Good! That wasn't what I was trying to do, but it's even better. Can you climb up? No. Okay, hang, drop. We're gonna go back to the top of the lighthouse. What? What is that thing? It was like a. It, because it is. It's just literally a, someone trolling, like everything else in this. That hurt as usual. There's a chest over here. Well, let's see what we get here. Look, look, look at the chest. Oh, freak. I guarantee it's part of 100%. Which, of course, I'm not helping. Recipes for days. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. We have another Frontiers mission. I feel like that's where we're going to go back to. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so I wonder how dumb this one's going to be. Just because the ghost was fake. I don't remember the other two missions right offhand, but I know oh, they were dumb. The Headless Horseman? I've never seen him myself, but I've heard the stories from here to Kentucky. A German mercenary. Hessians, what they call him, was fighting a battle when a cannonball took his head clean off. His whole battalion was routed, and they lost the encounter. But the lad didn't die. He's been wandering the bush on horseback around the battlefield ever since, searching for his head, chasing innocents when he sees them, taking their domes for his own. He wears a pumpkin for a head now, until he finds what he's looking for. Like I said, I haven't seen him, but I have seen the bodies he leaves lying about, headless and grotesque. God rest their souls. Alright, so I gotta fight, find the headless horseman now. Oh my gosh. All the way down here, so we're gonna fast travel to New York, because it's a little faster. I'll see you guys when we get close. Alright, welcome back. 
So we're pretty close. Oh, that's a lot farther away than I actually expected. Actually, I need to do this too while I'm here. I need to get all of these that I can. Really? Exactly what I wanted you to do, Connor, was fall down up escalator. Your way up. Yeah. I. I I'm not hitting A while jumping. I know better than that. <laughs> yeah, I can finally synchronize. Okay, no, I'm not. I was going to get on foot through this covered bridge, but the game said, nah, you're stuck. Alright, so the headless horse. We'll see how dumb this mission's going to be. I see a dead body. Without a head. <laughs> Where did he go? He must have went the other way. Wait, was that the mission? That was it? confused like hold on. I'm so baffled hold on 41% I've done three per like five percent today yeah and I just need to do these now I'm missing one club this anyway, so let's do it. <laughs> the only thing I can think of doing for the rest of part of the episode, because I'm like, we do need to do those two. We do need to liberate the cities, too, which we will do eventually. Alright. The last time we did a fort, it wasn't exactly bad, it just took a while. So I'm expecting it to be roughly the same. Alright, first of all. Get it out. There's nothing here for you. Finger.
All right, another fort taken. Really wasn't that hard after all. You guys even have this. All right. Scotch plants, yes. Very nice. Alright, guys, next time on Assassin's Creed 3, we're sitting at 41% something like that. We have a long way to go. I'll see you in the next one.